Hello, Jester Good here, back with my review, and today we're reviewing the LEGO The Big Bang Theory LEGO Ideas 2015 set, set number 21302. It has 484 pieces, 7 minifigures, and retails for $60 in the United States. Worldwide, this has a release date of August 1st, and you'll find that at your Toys R Us stores if you live in the United States, or LEGO Shop at Home, or the LEGO stores basically around the world. So now let's take a look at the minifigures. So the first minifigure we'll take a look at is Sheldon Cooper. Bazingo! Bazinga! Zimbabwe! Very silly character. He's a nerd, guys. He is a freaking nerd. But uh, I do like the printing on his torso front and back. And I love how they use the dual molded sleeves for the short sleeve part up here and then the long sleeve shirt on the bottom with that kind of light blue tealish color. That works out very well. And the flash emblem on his shirt is very faithful to the show and very useful for a lot of people who want to make themselves as sig figs or whatever. And he does have two facial expressions. So you can see his other one, he looks like he's smirking. So both of them, he is kind of smirking on there. Um, but he's kind of portrayed that way in the show. And I also like how they went as far as to include a little forehead line on this front face right here. And here is Leonard, and like every other minifigure in this set, exclusive facial print and torso print. Love how they got that little recycling uh, shirt under that kind of jacket. I think that's actually very useful. And it even carries on to the back in terms of its printing. He has a nice front face, and if you move his head around, you can see that he has a nice back facial printing as well, where he looks a little bit disgruntled. And here is Howard, and he actually has some leg printing, which is actually very nice. Um, I like how they include the little belt right there. And a nice torso print, and like I said, exclusive facial print. This one, he's kind of showing his teeth, and he uses Larry the Barista's hair in the exact same color and mold. And then on the back, you can see he has some more back printing on his shirt to kind of, uh, so that's a little bit wrinkled on the back. And then he has another smirking face. And then here is Raj. Uh, this is probably my favorite minifigure out of all the figures in here because he just has a generic tan face, which I think we need more of. Um, but uh, he does come with his dog, Cinnamon, which doesn't look a lot like a Yorkshire Terrier, like how it is in the show. And it looks just like the Chihuahua mold they used. I would have liked that they included more kind of printing on there to make it look a little bit more like a Yorkie. But uh, I do like his torso print, which carries on to the back as well. And I like how they use this hair piece. Uh, and you can see he does have a back facial print right there where he looks a little bit worried. And here is Penny, and Penny has just this kind of torso right here, which uh, again, exclusive torso and facial print. Her hair piece is not too accurate anymore because supposedly she cut her hair recently in the show, uh, but it is accurate to her older appearances. Then she has a little bit of a disgusted face right there and some back torso printing as well, which is very nice. And here is Amy, and she has some nice dual molded legs, which I uh, love how they're using that more. Not the best colors out there that I would have preferred to have, but uh, still pretty nice. Also, her torso print is very neat, and her facial print, which as, again, those both are exclusive. Her hair piece is actually the one that was on that Series 10 uh, librarian minifigure, whatever they wanted to call it. Then she has some back torso and back facial expressions where she's smirking right there. But hey, look, it's Blossom Girl. And the last one is Bernadette, and she has a torso and the leg prints. And the leg, the leg printing is actually on these dual molded legs, which I would have preferred if they didn't put the printing on there because it ruins basically any use that I could have used for it. But uh, it's still kind of cool how they did that print. It looks like just a, a kind of a, a mesh of like purple and pink. And it is accurate to show, so I can't complain too much. Also like her hair piece in that kind of light uh, blonde color, which we've gotten before, but it's a little bit more uncommon in that color. And also she has a back facial print where she looks ticked off and some back torso printing. And here's really the build for the set. You got the whole living room for the apartment and you got these two separate chairs. This one's actually supposed to be a wooden chair. I don't know why they put it in black, but uh, this would usually go right here. And the whiteboard would usually be somewhere on the side of this wall right here from my understanding. So this whole build sits on three plates just to note, but we'll start with this entrance area right here. This printed piece is actually an older one, um, but it's still nice and it works there. It's a little bit like a doorbell area or whatever or a thermostat. Also, there's a nice lamp piece right here. And entering the parts, there's actually this nice stickered piece. There's only two sticker pieces in this whole set, which is quite surprising because there's lots of nice prints. And it's like a little uh, uh, fuse board or something like that. And that just lies on this little corner wall right here. Now, onto this area which is where the computer sits, and it's actually a pretty nice curtained area as well. I love how they made these curtain builds where they used the modified plate piece with a little clip at the end, and they attached it to this big railing up here, and it just kind of sits on the back of that brick brick wall, as I call it, and I love how they use those brick bricks or mason bricks right there. It makes it look very modern and very cool. 
And the computer right there actually has that keyboard print, which we've seen before. It's not anything new, uh, but it works, and I love getting those. Also love the little lamp build they put right there where they use this uh, gun piece, old-style gun piece, to make kind of a desk lamp. And going back to this area, there's actually a whole row of these little bookshelves. Uh, this one right here actually has a nice printed piece, which uh, lies at the top of that bookshelf. And that's on a 1x2 tile, uh, pretty neat looking. And you can see there's all those books, which use a lot of those kind of uh, bricks with little side knobs to kind of make it like a little bit of a snot build or studs on a top build. And one of my favorite builds of the set is this little DNA model right here, which uh, is actually a very clever build uh, for how simple it is. And I actually love how that came out. On the top, you can see there's one of those really micro figures that was used with like the helicarrier or as a minifigure trophy in the CMF line. And that's in blue. Uh, which you do get an extra one of both of the micro figures in the set, so that's actually really good for just other stuff. So it was very generous that they included extra mini figures in here or micro figures. And then there's this little one by two printed tile right there, and a two by four printed tile on the bottom of that one, which has some writing on it, and that looks pretty cool. It's maybe like another whiteboard or a poster or something like that. And right here is the other sticker in this set, which is the little wrestling poster they have at the back uh, kind of door right here. And that is kind of easy to apply on, and I'm glad that they only put two stickers in this set. Then on this area right here, which you can see parts of the sofas, but we'll take a look at the bookshelf on the back, which it's pretty easy to remove the sofas. All you have to do is kind of lift it up like that, and you can get a better look at the bookshelf. Again, they use more of those knob pieces and to kind of build these studs on top uh, kind of builds. And on the top of the bookshelf is probably what a lot of people love. And I love kind of the builds here too. They have a Green Lantern replica, which is really actually more accurate to in, to the Lantern comics than uh, the one in the actual Green Lantern set, which is quite interesting. Then they have a little globe, which is one of those uh, rounded uh, pieces with the little uh, base on the bottom in a light blue color, which I believe that's the first time we've gotten that in that color. And another one of those micro figures, which is in the red color. And there's a little rocket and some details on the sides as well. So those are really cool, and I like how they built all that. Now, on the top right here is another one of those printed tiles. This is a 2x2 two two one with a little golden great bridge, it looks like. And in the show, I believe that one actually has like a robot on front of it because it's based off of a, a more famous painting. But this one, they just have the golden great bridge, which I think makes it a little bit more useful for other settings. Uh, there's another little light right here. And they have this little telescope, which is a pretty nice build. And... Even though they use one of these uh, little, as I call them, pot tops, you know, that's not what they are. Um, these This piece on the bottom, usually when they would do that, they wouldn't put any stud on the bottom. And it would be just kind of a loose build. But this one, they did put a stud on the bottom. So it just kind of sticks in that corner right there very, very snugly. So I love how they did that because it's not moving all over the place and everything like that. And you could just put the sofa back like this and we'll move on to the sofa area. Um, the brown sofa could fit about three minifigures sitting down, which is pretty neat. Uh, there's also this little back area right here. Uh, there's also a coffee table next to it with a little lamp, and I love the lamp build. It's pretty simple but effective. And there's another sofa right here, which fits about one minifigure. And then this area right here is where the Chinese food takeout and the newspaper is at. The Chinese food takeout is probably my favorite of the printed pieces in the set because it's been a while, or it's been basically, we've never gotten a printed Chinese food kind of takeout box, which is extremely useful in a city setting. You get two of them in this set, which is pretty darn cool. Other than that, they include these little fork pieces, and they actually include an array of different cooking utensils that you don't use in the actual build, so it just kind of comes off as extra pieces. And there's a little Lego News printed tile, which we've seen in so many sets before, but still works here. And then the little carpet build or rug build is very well done. I like how they did that. Uh, pretty neat design that's accurate to show on there. And then that's really it for all the builds of the set. Now what they also have are these two side builds, which I showed earlier. Uh, this one is a little wooden chair, or what is supposed to be the wooden chair. And what it turns out to be is just this uh, kind of disappointing build, because all they had to do was make this brown, made out of brown pieces, and it would have been a really interesting build. But now since it's in black, it doesn't even look like a wooden chair, and it just kind of looks inaccurate to show. And the other build is another disappointing build, where they use this nice kind of whiteboard printed piece. Very cool printing there, but... It's in blue marker, and they don't include any blue markers. All they include are these two 
uh, pink and uh, red markers, which are actually lipstick pieces, but work well as markers. So it doesn't make any sense. So that kind of sucks. But usually in the show, that would be on the side wall right here. And then that's it for the whole build. If you want to look, there's actually some details on the back of the whole thing where if you turn it around, you can see there's this kind of uh, window area right here where I guess it would be the outside of the apartment. And then they have the little back door area right there. So not too much going on there, but uh, it's nice that they still included some details at least on the back of these uh, this little build because it's more focused on what's inside the build itself. So that's it for the build. We'll take a look at the box and the final verdict. And here is the box for the set. It's one of those, I think it's the same size as the Ghostbusters box. It's one of the more premium boxes, like the ones they use for all the other LEGO Idea sets. And that's the back of the box. So here is the booklet for the set. It's one of those more uh, premium ones as well. And what they have are actually some really cool details. Like they have basically just info on the whole show in general. They also have pictures of all the characters and little bios and actually three different languages in my version. And then they have little jokes inside while you're building, which I know they did with Ghostbusters, which is very cool actually. I like how they did that. So that's it. And then at the end, they actually have some information on the people who designed this set. So that's quite cool. And so that's it for now. And let's go on to the final verdict. So overall, as somebody who really can't stand the Big Bang Theory as a show, I like this set. I think it's actually a great tribute to the fans of the show because there's lots of nice references, kind of like the Simpsons sets. And for me, who doesn't really like the show, I think I, I like a lot of the printed pieces they include, and I really adore the minifigures because the minifigures, in my opinion, are very, 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 very useful, detailed, and accurate to the show, which is a plus. And I'm going to be using a lot of those pieces for just regular civilian minifigures, but that's maybe because I'm just a sucker for civilian minifigures. Now, is it a great set? I actually don't think so. I think the price of this is really the main killer of this set. It's $60 for 484 pieces. Now, even looking past uh, the price per piece ratio, let's look at if it's a good value or not. I'm not sure it's a great value. I mean, like I said, the minifigures are very detailed, so that could be why the price is so high, because they use dual molded legs, they use all these specific prints, and each one of them has a new exclusive face print, so far at least. And actually, each one of them, I'm just looking at this, each have a, a new and exclusive torso print. So it's just really, it's hard to blame them for putting such a high price, but I feel like what you get here, this display piece for this room, it doesn't feel complete, and they really look like they cut a lot of corners. For example, the little whiteboard right here doesn't even include a, a blue marker, or this little chair right here should be black or brown, and I don't know, it's just those kind of make it feel a little bit weak. It feels like they could have done better for the price they put. Other than that, as a display piece, I think it works pretty well for fans of the show. Um, personally, for me, I don't know if I'll keep it displayed or not because honestly, I'm going to be probably cannibalizing the minifigures for their pieces alone because I think these minifigures are so well done. But honestly, I'm going to give this set a B. I think I wish it would have lowered the price to like a $50 price point. It would have been a little bit better. But at this $60 price point, I don't know. It just feels a little bit too steep. I like all the creative builds they use. Like, I like this DNA model especially. I think that's probably my favorite build in this whole set. But the overall room structure of it is not bad at all. So that's just how I feel about this set. You guys could leave your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys later.